A mother accused of killing her two-year-old child will make her first court appearance in about an hour. The police found her toddler dead and her 13-year-old child critically hurt in a Cannon Beach hotel room. Welcome to Coin 6 News at Noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. Jessica Smith was arrested yesterday after a Coast Guard helicopter spotted her car on a remote logging road. Now, Ken Body is live in Astoria where Smith will be arraigned. Ken? Well, Jenny, it will be a video arraignment at 1.15 this afternoon here at the Clatsop County Courthouse in Astoria. Jessica Smith faces charges of aggravated murder and attempted aggravated murder. If convicted, she could face the death penalty. Smith is 40 years old. She's from Goldendale, Washington. She's been the subject of a manhunt since Friday when a housekeeper found Smith's two-year-old daughter, Isabella, dead in a hotel room at the Surf Sand Resort in Cannon Beach. At this point, the cause of death is not clear, but it has been ruled a homicide. Isabella's sister, 13-year-old Alana Smith, was also in the room with life-threatening cut wounds. She's now in stable condition at OHSU Hospital in Portland and expected to survive. The attack on the kids with a mother as the suspect has really shaken the Cannon Beach community. I think it's obviously very shocking to, to people in, in not only a, a particularly peaceful community like Cannon Beach, where at least within everybody's memory it's never happened, but really for probably the whole coastal community. We learned that Jessica Smith and her husband Greg have been going through divorce proceedings and he was supposed to have parenting rights on Friday. Friday is when the body was found. Now we also obtained a copy of a statement from the family stating in part their gratitude to the Cannon Beach community and thanking the caregivers throughout the area. Well, there are no obvious signs of trauma on the two-year-old's body. We're awaiting toxicology results that may reveal more about how she died. Live in Astoria, Ken Body, Coin 6 News. Such a tragic story. Okay, thank you, Ken.